Hello again. In this video tutorial I will explain you how the Smarty Autofilling option works with Album DS. First of all I will show you how Autofilter works. Autofilter is a new option available at bottom of the folders of the template folders here in this button. Autofilter. This combined with the option apply full filter when autofiltering allows to immediately filter the templates for the selected pictures. Let me show you. If I select three pictures, two verticals and one horizontal, and now go to templates, if autofilter is activated, only templates for three pictures are shown. If I also enable apply full filter when autofiltering, the templates shown are only for two vertical pictures and one horizontal. This works with all template folders, not only the smarty ones. You may select all folders and then get templates for the selected pictures from all folders. Here you can see we have many templates and all of them are for two vertical pictures and one horizontal. If I disable apply full filter when auto filtering, I get many more templates, but only for three pictures independently if they are vertical or horizontal, like here. The second new feature I'm going to show you is assigning a template to a picture. We have now three pictures selected in the pictures tab. Now we go to templates and select one of the templates. We right click on it and select a sync template to selected pictures. The template is marked as used. In that pictures tab you can see that each of the selected pictures has now a small thumbnail of the assigned template. This way you can easily assign template to all pictures without having designed any sheet. Once you have assigned templates to all pictures, you may automatically design the album. Of course, you may also unassign a template to the pictures. You only have to select the pictures, right click and then unassign template to selected pictures. Let me show you now the basic option of Smarty filling a sheet. We have selected the three pictures, two verticals and one horizontal. Now we go to templates and having enabled apply full filter when auto filtering, we select this template, right click and then select Smarty Fill Template with selected pictures. This will open the template in Photoshop and fill it with the selected pictures, but having care, taking care of the orientation of the pictures. The two vertical pictures go in the vertical shapes and the horizontal picture will go into the horizontal shape. Here you can see the result. Now we are going to do the same but disabling full filter when auto filtering to see the difference. We select the same template, Smarty Fill template with selected pictures. Now you can see that the template is filtered, is uh, filled, sorry, with the pictures but without taking care of the pictures orientation. It's very important to know that uh, the first selected picture is the most important uh, to place in the sheet. Here you can see the result. This is the horizontal picture as, and as you can see we have to slightly move it to left. That's the result. Okay. The first picture of the selected ones is always the most important. This way, if there is an option to fill uh, the largest shape with this picture, 
like now, it will be placed in the largest shape. But if we enable full filtering, this is not always possible. Just in this case, we have two equal uh, sized vertical shapes. And therefore, in the last filling option, this picture was placed in this shape. We have seen now how to smart fill a template with the selected pictures. But there is a different option by just selecting the pictures, then assigning the, te uh, the template. We go to templates and assign the template. And later we may smart fill a the template. This is an option to uh, fill template by template or sheet by sheet the whole album. It's similar to the one we have just seen, but uh, first assigning the templates. This way we have more control over the templates. The other option is smart to fill the whole album with assigned pictures. And to use it, we have to first assign a template to any of the pictures you, we want in the album. This way we just select four pictures, four vertical ones. We select more template folders and now we can assign this template for pictures to the selected pictures. Here we have the four vertical pictures assigned. This you can see the thumbnail picture and the respective template thumbnail. Now we only select one picture, go to templates and just select this one, a sync template to selected pictures. One thumbnail, one template thumbnail. Two vertical pictures, templates, a sync. And so on with all the pictures. Okay, now we have all pictures with an async template. Oh, sorry, this one uh, we need to just a sync. We select it, go to templates and select one of the templates for a vertical picture. Okay, now we have all pictures with an assigned template. We now want, we are now going to automatically fill the whole album in Smarty mode. We right click our picture and select Smarty fill the whole album with assigned pictures. We are prompted to select the folder, the target folder for these sheets. I'm going to select a subfolder of documents. Test album. Now album DS extension commands Photoshop to fill all the templates, all the assigned templates with the pictures, one by one. If you are seeing the same template to more pictures than a place available in the template, it will first fill one of the templates and then a second one. Depending on the number of pictures, it may take some uh, minutes to complete the process. Notice that Album DS always saves the PSD file, a .pg file, and creates the thumbnail and preview for the Sheets tab. This is all done in the same step. Ok, the process has finished now and our Sheets are ready in the Sheets tab. Let's take a look. These are the Sheets we have autofilled, Smarty Autofilling. All the sheets are saved in the test album folder we have created in documents. You can see JPG sheets and PSD sheets. Also preview and thumbnails are created. And your album is finished. Please notice also is that if you need to correct one of the sheets like this one because the picture is too much to down you only need to double click at it and it will open in Photoshop ready for editing you may move the picture with the move tool 
and save the sheet again. Save sheet. You save it with the same name and in the same folder, overwriting the old sheet. Here, the new sheet has been saved. And you can see it.